Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Army Girl Budgets. On my channel, typically you guys would see something very different and you wouldn't be seeing me. Um, I talk about budgeting, cash stuffings, and all things finances on my channel. Sometime soon, you guys will see me start to work with some friends of mine on their budgeted budgets to try to get them into a place where they're more financially comfortable and happy. Um, today's video is a collaboration, my very first collaboration, guys, on YouTube with Chrissy from The Mom Life, and I think it's about 29 other ladies doing this collab too. So I'm very honored and very happy that I was chosen to be a part of this collab, mainly because I'm a new YouTuber. I have been on a YouTube for under 30 days now. I have about, right now to, to this day, which is the 25th of November, Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, guys. I have seven videos, that is it. I have seven videos and I have currently 200 followers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and being, um, you know, with me on this journey. You guys have seen me mess up. <laughs> You've seen me have my kids making noise. You've seen all of that and you guys have continued to come back and show me so much love. So this video is um, my behind the scenes and I'm here to tell you guys that you don't need as much as you think you do and honestly you should just get out there and do it all right guys so this is my space walking into my space you see that I have off to the left here come on boo um, you see that I have a TV tray here my work boots my bag for work, my purse, my work computer. Um, there, it usually is what I do when I first come in the door. I drop all of this stuff here and I keep um, either doing, I start doing my homework or I'll look over my budget, something of that nature. All right, so down here, let's start at the bottom. Um, you're gonna see my Zozo. This is Zozo here. She doesn't want to be in the camera right now, but you'll see her in a second. Um, that's my laminator, my paper cutter, my personal size. Well, it's a bunch of the small uh, hole punch and my big happy planner punch down here. Right here, you'll see that I have a bunch. Well, not a bunch, but these are all of my planner things. I buy my planners when they're on sale. I don't like paying a regular price for anything and... Um, planner things <laughs> included. This is where I keep all of my stickers. I bought the Sarah Marie sticker book to hold what I have. Right here, you'll see that I have um, change. When I get change, I usually drop it in here. My son will come in here peri periodically and he'll go ahead and um, dump this in our change drawer or holder. Um, this is what stand I use to record my videos. Um, I'm going to put that over here really quick. And then you'll see that I have some cash envelopes that I bought from um, an Etsy shop. Uh, I can't remember the name right now, but I will link her shop in below. But I purchased this a long time ago. It had to be like a year ago I purchased these. And I um, was trying to laminate them finally, but I didn't like the lamination paper. So you see that they're still sitting here. Um, moving along to my desk. So this is my desk. Um, let's talk about the desk real quick. So my desk is three Ikea Alex drawers. Um, I went to Ikea one day. They had two drawers there that were on discount for some reason. Maybe somebody took it back, whatever the case may be, but I bought it. Um, I paid about $25 per Alex drawer and the third one I paid full price for. Then I went back to the store about a couple weeks later because, of course, I didn't put it together right away. Um, and I found two tops for $25 a piece. They're not bolted down because, as you guys know, I'm in the military, so we move a lot. So screwing things and hanging things into a wall is something that I really don't do much of just because it's like what I'm used to not doing because I've had to move really fast um, before and um, deploy really quick, all kinds of things have happened. So I do not hang things on the wall usually. And I'm not one to like have permanent fixtures in my house. 
Um, you'll see that this is my budget book. This is my big happy planner that I use. So you'll see in my videos. Um, and so let's look through my drawers. So top drawer is all of my old envelopes that I've used over the class course of the last two years. These are my two no binders that I will be setting up shortly as soon as I get some envelopes for them made or purchased. I purchased some um, prop money, um, but I don't like the way it feels. So I don't know if I'm going to actually use it. We'll see though. Um, this drawer is just personal papers for my family. Um, then you have my lamination paper pouches i meant some sticker paper my transparency sheets there's different sized um lamination papers in here and down here you have my gimbal that is exactly what i'm holding right now to make sure that i'm not jerking you guys around so you see how smooth this is i purchased this from amazon for 26 bucks um, I believe it's 26 bucks, but it was under $30. Um, this is a phone mount, stand mount that I purchased, but honestly, I don't use it because it doesn't work well in my videos. You'll see a theme of me buying things that actually um, haven't <laughs> I haven't used or can't use. And this is extra printer ink for my old printer. Um, this drawer here is where I keep all of my office supplies. So pens, markers, color pencils are back there. Everything that I'd use, need to get quick access to right here. My most prized possession correction tape because I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Next, you'll see this is all of my like crafting things. So um, if I'm making shirts, that's a ruler for that. If I'm going to sew anything, uh, my weeding, my Cricut stuff, all of that there. And some uh, stickies because I'm a huge sticky user. I use lots of sticky. This is my, basically I put all of my hurry up and go, like my portable chargers and stuff like this with me. I take this with me pretty much every day, everywhere I go. Um, these are extra things from uh electronic stuff that i bought here are extra phone holders this is the one that i was talking about it looks dope it's too bulky you can see it when i record so i cannot use this it was a waste of money um i have some real cheap ones these are slim profile so i can use these when i record <clears throat> these are my blue light glasses here's my mold term that's hiding back there because i need to create some um envelopes for it or purchase some purchase some this is my gimbal case and my tripod bag down here you'll see my cash envelopes are here but they don't live here they're just here because i need to record a video and i was working on some stuff with it and t-shirts from when i make shirts down below here that's all my make not my makeup. I don't even wear makeup for real, y'all. Um, my nail stuff, my 100 envelope boxes. I got a huge paper cutter here. She is a beast and she is amazing. This is my backdrop that you guys used to see all the time. I'm trying something new, so I'm taking the pink away for a little bit. Um, these two boxes I bought from Ikea, they were probably under a dollar a piece. And they just hold some vinyl um in there the different kinds of vinyl that i have and this is all cricket stuff vinyl transparency tape different types of vinyl separated um so yeah that's what this is so moving on up here that's my cricket my husband bought my cricket for me for my birthday um this year and my press because he knew that i wanted to get into making shirts and stuff like that so he bought these two for me um, this is a shirt that I made for my husband, for my son. It just says football dad and stuff like that on there. This is my silhouette. Let me move my drink. <laughs> uh, but this is my silhouette. I have not used it yet. She's gorgeous. She's pink. So she stays out <laughs> on the counter, but honestly, I'm a visual, visual learner. So 
I need to see like the whole, like all of the things. And I bought her because I tried to make stickers with my Cricut and I had a hard time. And so I just decided to buy the silhouette and see what happens with that. But I haven't had the time to try to figure it out yet, but I promise you, I will be figuring it out. Next is my portable charger. This thing can charge a MacBook. It can charge a iPad Pro three times. Um, when I purchased it, I bought it before I, I was deploying and I have had this thing for hmm, probably six years <laughs> or more. Um, so she has been with me ride or die and goes with me literally everywhere every day. This is my iPad Pro, the 2020 version. I was editing my videos with this, but I was having a hard time transferring my files from my phone to it for some reason. So I just started exclusively airdropping it from my phone to my iMac um, because it's quicker, it uploads faster, all the things. These are some hundred envelopes that I created, um, different ones. These are some other ones that I cut, but I need to laminate if I decide to do something with them, maybe sell them, but I'm not sure yet. I am one of those people that think that perfection has to be there before I sell something to someone because I would hate to have someone get something and not like it. There's some vinyl that I'm working with right now. This here is my fancy budgeting system that I purchased because honestly, I saw it and I saw all of the work and all of the things that was in it. And I decided that I wanted to purchase it just to show um, her support. And I probably won't use it. And I'm thinking that what I will do is use this for a giveaway. Um, this is my Budget Mom Paycheck Budget Book that I will be using starting in um January but you guys should see it in December because I'll be setting up my January budget in this book here is a children's book that I bought from a friend of mine uh, she is also a service woman and she has made written three books now for children self-confidence just self-love something just good and it's it's honestly great for kids that are used to traveling and they have to like lose friends a lot so it, it's this is a great book she has three more books that she sells on amazon so if you guys want to take a look check it out if you know a, a young person that might be struggling um i think this would be a great great book for them um down here are all the things that I purchased that I shouldn't have bought. <laughs> this is a cash tray that I bought. It's too large for my space. I thought I wanted it, but there was no use for it. Um, this is a tripod with ring light. It has a phone adapter part to it as well. And I bought this as well. Didn't like it. Didn't work for my space. So, yep. I am that person that thought that I needed a whole bunch of stuff and really didn't. Okay, over here is my printer paper. I just have some basic Target paper down here. And then these are my favorite two. Um, I have a 28 pound paper and 32 pound paper down here that I use all the time. My Cricut and Silhouette mats are down here. This is my um, cardstock papers that I have. If I can wanna make any envelopes or just anything, I was making uh, invitations here and thank you cards. So that is what this is for. Um, then you see I have an extra keyboard and mouse for my iMac. My baby here, which is my um, sewing machine. I got this probably three or four years ago. Um, I asked for it for Christmas and I got it, but what I didn't realize is that I didn't have a Joann's or Michael's close by, so I hadn't been able to purchase any fabric and I, I like to touch the fabric and look at it in person and stuff like that. So it's just been sitting in the box, but I plan on getting it out and getting back to quilting very soon. Here is my baby. I call her Big Bertha. I've had this printer since 2000 and I think 12 or 13. I bought her on my deployment and um, she has been with me. She still works, <laughs> but she doesn't print in color well. So I had to get another printer, 
recently. And honestly, it was really hard to find her printer ink during the pandemic. What is that? The pandemic. <laughs> Uh, so I had to purchase another printer because my kids were at home and I was like sort of kind of homeschooling. So I went and got this guy. So she is a HP MB Photo 7155. I love this printer for color. Okay. She is amazing. Um, here's the thing. I bought her from Best Buy for, for $28. And she came with six months of free instant ink from HP. Yes, she did. So she is amazing. Um, down here, this is Zozo. She is my teacup Yorkie who is literally my twin. She is my shadow. She is with me everywhere. One of the kids must have took our bed out of here because she has a white bed that usually stays in here. This over here, I know you're going to see this, but this isn't usually here, but this is for... The next month if you know what i mean um i have a little kroger bag trash bag back here that's just real life but um let's go and talk about the things that i use um oh my crisp clear chair let me move my jacket but my clear chair came from um ikea as well i think it was about 20 something dollars for it um so this is where i feel man right so this right here this little arm and this little hole set up right here is what it looks like when i am recording a video i sit here i straddle the little clamp down there and i record my videos right here and you get the top down view right here without seeing any of this it can be kind of annoying if you hit it you know it does cause problems but like i said this is what i use um and it was under I think it was under $25 for the stand. I believe it was like $20. I got it off of Amazon. Um, also, this is my iMac. It was gifted to me from my father. He owned a business. It went under during the pandemic and he knew that I wanted to make videos. So he sent me this iMac and said, make videos, girl. <laughs> um, I have my little fake plant here because why not, you know? Let me move this out of the way. Um, here, this is my mom. She passed away when I was 21 years old. And so I keep her with me at all times. She's always here like my little calm in the mix of a storm if I'm in the one. She keeps me calm. And this is my dog Storm's paw print. She passed away about two months ago during the pandemic. And so she's right here next to my mom. My cash tray, um, what you'll see in my house is there's always going to be like maybe 5 or $10 in here or whatever my kids use. So in order for them to get anything off of Apple Music, so they want to buy stuff, Robux, Robux, or I don't know, any of the things that the kids be playing, they have to uh, put their money here from their allowance and then I purchase it. I'll approve it then. But that's what that's for. These are my blue light glasses. I think they're super cute. And then this thing here. So this is a, Mar a Marinitz. It is a camera, ring light, microphone combination. My dad bought this for me for my birthday because guys, like I have been saying, I have been talking about YouTube for literally years. And he bought this in hopes for me to get into it and stop talking about it and do it. So he bought this for me and the thing is, I've never even used it. I use the ring light because it gives me a little extra um, light in here. It's really bright. So sorry if that hurts you guys, but um, you can change the rings out and all that kind of stuff. But um, I don't know how to set it up. That's the big problem. I've watched plenty of YouTube videos and I think I'm going to have to like really um, look into it some more because if I start doing more front facing Videos, I think that would be perfect because it's at the perfect height. It's got the microphone right there, all of the things. So we'll see. I'm going to try. Um, we'll see what I can do. And then back here, this beauty here is my ring light tripod. Okay, so fun story about this. I was about to send it back to Amazon because when I got it, I would put my phone on it and it would tip over. Well, I watched the Pink Cloth Life's. A video and she said 
that you have to put something heavy on this part right here. It should be up, but I have it sitting back there because um, if you have the ring light behind where you're sitting, it helps not have so many shadows or whatever. But I didn't know that. So I'm learning, you know, I'm still definitely learning from this collaboration, but like, look at what I'm learning just watching you guys' videos because I had no idea. I was like, it's broken, y'all. <laughs> So this is my space, guys. This is it. I usually have these two windows pretty open so that I can get some extra like natural light in here. But that's it. Like this is all. This is all I have. This is my little space here. I close the door and if my door is closed, they know that I'm in here recording. Um, but this is where I do all of my budgeting and where I make the magic happen. Okay, guys. So you've seen my space. Um, I want you guys to know, don't be like me. Don't buy a whole bunch of things that guess what? You don't use. Um, you really only need uh, this here. You need a stand of some sort. You need good lighting. It can be outdoor lighting. So a good window opened up um, or a ring light. That's what you need. You have to be able to edit your videos some type of way. Um, I think editing is so important um and when i say editing i mean more audio than anything um like i said i've been watching uh videos on budgeting and youtube for years i watch more youtube than i watch regular tv honestly so for me if i'm in a, an environment where i'm in a a military vehicle i'm on a military aircraft it is usually so loud so if you guys this audio isn't up to par i can't watch the video um, so the best thing you guys can do is um, watch the uh, Black and Blue's video from the collab. She talks about this. She walks you through how to um, raise your audio up. And it is so true. If you have great audio, you can have decent light lighting and people will watch you. I know I will. So that is the one thing when I'm editing that I do. I make sure that I turn that volume up. Because to me, I feel like it's easier for someone to turn you down than to turn you up and never can honestly hear you. Um, I've been in situations where I'm watching a video and the audio is like, what? And I'm turning it up and I can't get it up any further. And I'm just like, man, you know, um, you have to get out your own way. Also, um, I am one of those people that I literally was in my own way about recording videos and and being a part of YouTube. I thought I needed everything. I thought that people wouldn't want to watch me. I was like, I don't know. I made every excuse to not just do it because honestly, let's be real. I budget anyway. I come in here and I work on my budget every day. I am a huge believer that if you know where you stand at, at any moment, you won't be behind, right? So um, you can ask me like how much you spent today and I could tell you for a fact, I didn't spend any money at all today. Well, it, it's obviously Thanksgiving, but I didn't spend anything today. But yesterday I spent 140 something dollars. Well, I know the change too, but you know, I spent 140 something dollars because I was buying Christmas presents. I know where it's coming from. I know when, I know what, uh, um, envelope it's going to come out of all of those things so every day for me it's almost like twice a day I look at my budget in the morning and my accounts in the morning when I wake up um, just to kind of see if anything crazy happened excuse me and I look again when I come home from work because by that time once I come home from work or I come back home from a sporting event from one of my kids there's no more spending. So I want to see what happened in my accounts between that time. So if I do that, why not record it? You know what I mean? I cash stuff all the time. Why not record it? I'm doing savings challenges all the time. Why not record it? So if you're doing these things already, it's not doing anything except for you st standing up a camera and you may have to say hi guys before, you know, but for the most part, all you're doing is what you normally do. Now, let me be clear, talking in front of the camera is something that I swore <laughs> that when I started my channel, I wasn't doing this. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to put the, my face on camera because you never know. There's people that are crazy out here. There's all these things. Um, and Chrissy asked me to do this club. So when Chrissy asks, you kind of do because she's been so amazing to me. I wanted to make sure that I could be a part of this for her. 
So if anything that you can take from me out of this is I have a very small channel. I just started. I am under 30 days in this game, in this YouTube business, in this YouTube um, just passion of mine and budgeting passion of mine. Um, just do it. I know it sounds crazy and everybody has said that in these videos, but it is so true. You will be surprised about the amount of people that will just love you for you. They just love your voice. They love to hear you count. People love the mistakes that are made as well. Um, I'm one of those people that I feel like you have to have things perfect. So if it's cloud out there and I can hear something, I'm like, oh crap, I've got to re-record re it. Oh, I messed up counting. Oh, I said mm too much. You know, all of those things. But in reality, People like you being you. You're not a professional actress or actor. So you should just be you. If you say um and if you wear, swear sometimes, ish happens, guys. I swear too, but you know, I'm trying to live my life right. I put myself on a no uh, bad words thing for at least a week. But I'm just saying, like, people understand you might curse sometimes, you might miss. Uh, speak because I do it all the time. You're going to say, um, I do that all the time. When I'm thinking, what comes out of my mouth is, um, um, see, <laughs> but it's okay. It's real life. You know, your dog is going to bark. Your cat may walk across your, your video. You know, your kid might call you. My son is going to be throwing a ball somewhere. You know, they might start fighting. I have a 12 and a 10 year old. Like, you never know. My husband's going to call me. And all of those things are true and it's real life. So just keep it, you know, don't re-record that. You know, it's what people want to see. When people want to see you, a real life person working through life, your budget, your finances, and still enjoying yourself. So um, I just want to say thank you so, so much to Chrissy for having me a part of this collaboration. I, I am so thankful for the ability to be able to be a part of this group. Like I said, I'm a very new channel. So just to be asked to do something like this is so amazing. So thank you so, so much to Chrissy from The Mom Life for asking me to do this and trusting me to be on her platform. I appreciate you so much. So who is it? Who am I introducing? That's what you guys have been waiting for. Well, it's no other than a beautiful, intelligent, strong mama of a beautiful little girl who says, hey, in all of her videos. She is a dope boss woman who it has just recently um, released a budget planner. So you guys, I know you already know who this is. It's Taylor Budgets. All right, guys. So please go to her channel tomorrow. Watch her behind the scenes of her workspace. Let her know that I sent you and Taylor, Hey girl, hey. Um, so see you guys next time when I release my next video. Bye guys.